President, Congress, Sir Murray, Fire Brigade Junior. The FBU is supporting the composite and we are grateful to the RMT, Unite and the NUT for raising the points they have made. And the FBO adds our praise to all the TUC affiliates for the campaign against the Trade Union Act which undoubtedly forced some change. The campaign exposed a lack of evidence for the government's case and exposed the punitive nature of this attack on working people. But Congress, we have achieved some significant concessions as a result of determined campaigning, lobbying at all levels, but nevertheless the Trade Union Act marks the most serious attack on workers' rights in Britain for a generation and challenges our movement financially, politically and industrially. Despite the concessions, the new arrangements still include an attack on the ability of unions to take contributions from members via check-off without incurring financial penalty, attacks on facility time within the public sector and a fundamental change to the way our political funds are administered and collected. New and fundamentally under democratic powers for the certification officer and more significantly the act seriously hampers the ability of workers to take industrial action, industrial action by changing the rules on balloting and thresholds. They treat abstentions as no votes and impose further restrictions on workers in important public services such as firefighters. The threat of further restrictions on picketing is an attempt to intimidate workers from exercising their democratic right to take effective industrial action and to peacefully court support within that fight. The FBU believe that the campaign against this unjust law must continue and I'd like to draw Congress's attention to the composite motion 18 agreed here last year. While some areas of this composite have been implemented, many others have not yet been so. Congress, the General Council should urgently convene a special meeting to discuss the matter of the Trade Union Act and to coordinate intensifying our campaign against it. They should consider the full implementation of motions to Congress from this year and from last year. They should consider an emergency plan of action to challenge the imposed new measures and they should consider what steps will be taken to support unions or groups of workers who are found to be in breach of that uh, legislation. The TUC should also consider the convening of a special congress to develop a campaign of mass opposition and developing support for live issues and disputes. Our movement should consider all tactical options, including that of non-cooperation as part of building our campaign. That was what the amendment to our original motion was all about. Congress, for the last two years, we've been talking the talk. Well, I'm afraid, if it's needed, we're, at we're actually going to have to walk the walk. Ultimately, Congress, let's face it, we shouldn't be discussing working around the Act's implementation. We should be discussing, as a mass movement, how we're going to defy it. Congress, we've done well so far in the campaign. But for our trade union movement, the future generations of our trade un union movement, we've not done well enough. We've not done well enough until the Trade Union Act is long gone and all its restrictions on the working class eradicated. Congress, support the compensation. You can call POA.